Hey guys, welcome to Kelly's Creations. I know it's not Sunday, but I just wanted to share a project that me and my husband did after a recent trip to Michigan. So I shared with you some items I got while we were there, and this is one of the bigger items. We brought back my mother-in-law's bedroom set and actually brought back her dresser and my husband's grandmother's nightstands very vintage i love this look it reminds me of the 70s um just clean lines and the only thing i didn't like was the color <laughs> but that's where just a little bit of paint and some elbow grease comes in and really transforms the this dresser and these nightstands um, luckily, I have a son who works at Sherwin-Williams, so I get a discount on this awesome chalk paint, which I used to paint the dresser and the two nightstands. Now, the nightstands, the handles were built in. There wasn't any way to remove them, but I did remove the hardware on the dresser and just went for just a clean line silver handle and painted it distressed it minimal distressing yes i said minimal you guys know i'm just love my chunky distressing but i thought that this would just look great with just some minor distressing and then i hand painted every drawer about three coats it took now the top of the dresser was very destroyed and painting over it wasn't going to help this as you can see so my husband had the idea of getting the peel and stick flooring so we went to Lowe's and we picked out um, the flooring that would match our nautical bedroom and I thought this gray was so pretty and he just attached it on top of the dresser the peel and stick flooring is pretty sticky and we were going to trim it so I wasn't worried about it moving. So he cut the pieces and we got some trim and he trimmed the top of the dresser all around that peel and stick flooring. And what a difference, guys. This project did not cost a lot of money. I would say probably about $30 after you pay for the paint and the floor and the new knobs. This is the before, which I actually loved her dresser, and this is the after. Oh my gosh, I just am so in love with this dresser. And I just kind of took some pictures and filmed a little bit of our journey redoing this, just to show you guys that just because something doesn't maybe appeal to you now, just adding just a little bit of paint, maybe thinking outside the box like we did with the flooring, it just transforms vintage furniture and makes it so fresh and clean. And I am in love with these pieces. Don't mind the shoes under it. <laughs> you should have probably moved those. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on and share our little furniture transformation with you guys and maybe give you some ideas or spark some creativity if you have some older furniture that you would like to redo. As always, guys, thank you. I will be back on Sunday. I have a... Actually, I'm going to do a Trash to Treasure on Sunday for you guys with the uh, home interiors items that I got from my mother-in-law as well. Um, if you guys are familiar with home interiors, it's a very... It, people used to decorate with it all the time, but it's a very dark decor. And I'm going to show you if you have any of those laying around the house how just adding some paint and some colors to it makes you fall in love with them all over again if you like dollar tree diys and trash to treasure and thrift store makeovers don't leave go to my page and check out some more of my videos i have just an array of different diys and i'm sure something will interest you so stick around and if you haven't already and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. I love y'all. I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye, y'all.